time for maybe one or two questions. But first, uh, Arild, could you give an example of what an example of red? I mean, we can imagine the ice cream thing, but how <laughs> is it in real life uh, when it comes to deforestation? Uh -huh. How could it be? I mean, a, a for example. big example of what Norway signed with the agreement in 2010 with, um, with the Indonesia was a two-year moratorium. So basically a ban, no new licenses for converting forests, natural forests, I should add, to other land uses for two years. So no new concessions. So, so that's how do they check that? Satellite uh, monitoring and, and, well, it's the licenses are issued by the Ministry of Forestry, so they just they simply don't do it. They don't sign any new licenses. That's the idea. They signed a lot before they s took effect, but that's another <laughs> case. Uh, and then they get the money or, or the aid afterwards when you have proven, or is that the idea? That's a good point because aid organizations generally, they would like to see the receipts. How were the money spent? And that was a debate in the Brazilian case. Brazil ha have the results, but NORAD, and, and the government of Norway, they want to see the receipts. How have you spent the money? So the project's approved. So it's both a result-based and a receipt-based system, which is... Is that good? It's uh, two different ways of thinking, and I, I, I would have been a bit schizophrenic if I was a Minister of Environment and Development. So we are glad you're not. Please, <laughs> do you have any, any questions from the audience? Yes, uh, to follow up on this, uh, Roger Williamson Institute of Development Studies. Uh, much of the, um, the logging, etc., in Brazil is illegal. Now, do you make the government responsible for illegal activity? Uh, because, you know, by definition, the forests aren't in the capital city. They're in inaccessible areas. So is it right to punish a government for its inability actually to enforce a good policy? Okay, that's one. And the second question? Anna to Arthur, a member of parliament from Ghana. Yannick, uh, what has worked and what hasn't worked? You said what hasn't worked is finance. How effective is the country level governance of aid to developing countries? Thank you. So, let's start with Aril. If you have a national system, yes, the government is responsible for everything that happens within the national borders. So, yes, they would be responsible also for the illegal part. Now, second question of whether you, if they reduce it, should you compensate for a reduction of illegal activities? And probably not. But in the national system, yes, governments are responsible also for that. Thank you. Yannick? Yeah. The why first, why do I believe that climate uh, finance doesn't work is because all these uh, profusions of, uh, of instruments. It's a bit like the equatorial forest. It's, uh, the equatorial forest is actually stands on extraordinary poor ferralitic soil. And uh, that's the same thing with climate finance. You have plenty of different instruments because you don't have a lot of money at the end. Mm. And it's, it's one major reason for inefficiency. Now, how efficient was, uh, is uh, disbursement at the local level, at the national level? It's, this issue is one of the major drives behind uh, the idea of performance-based payment, where you pay only for effective aid. And uh, as example, in addition to RED, you have carbon markets, you have uh, green uh, kilowatt hour, where you pay only for the kilowatt hour, etc. You have plenty of different uh, instruments. I'm a bit concerned, like Ariel, about too much focus on performance-based ba payment, because actually it's often more efficient to change the policy framework and to eliminate risk than to compensate for risk through performance-based payment. So uh, the efficiency of, uh, of aid in a given country will depend on the form of aid, is it through thousand instruments or a few, will depend on the policy framework in which aid is to uh, take place and what kind of exact instruments you are to use. What we know for sure is that some countries are more efficient than others. Thank you very much, both of you. Thank you, Ari. Thank you, Yannick. Thank <laughs> you.